Right, welcome back to another video, and today we're going to be looking at more celebrity outfits, and today it is Russell Westbrook, who has been in the news recently for moving to the Clippers. So basically, what I thought we could do is we could do a third episode of rating celebrities' outfits. So previously, we've done Jason Tame and we've done LeBron James. So basically, in this video, we're going to be going through 10 images that I have picked out from Russell Westbrook's uh, runway history. Uh, basically, I've just picked random ones, some good, some bad, to kind of get a mixture. It was kind of in the region of 2017 to 2019 sort of thing. Uh, and I, I thought it'd be quite a good one because Russell Westbrook is always in the news for what he wears as well because he does wear some absolutely outrageous things. So let's kick off the video and let's get into it. So the first one being this suit with the hat. Now I actually quite like this one from Russell Westbrook. It's quite classic. It looks like you're going to a summer party or something like that or like an old style kind of party. It's quite a nice one. I do really like it. A nice fitting suit. Um, I can always appreciate his suit as well and the hat as well. It's a very nice hat and he's got a chain on as well with the nice shoes, the very standard shoes. I do like this one. That is quality. Moving on to the next one. This is one that I thought this is a nice outfit actually until I realized that you can see uh, I'm not sure what's going on there, but the sleeve and stuff is like peeling off. Uh, it's like a distressed t-shirt which is very strange to me. Like, I don't understand distressed clothing really at all. I get it on jeans and stuff like that. But to go for a distressed top is kind of weird, especially with the like tracksuit bottoms tucked in to socks as well. It's a bit strange. Um, it's all kind of just a mishmash of colors. The socks go with the shoes. The hat goes with the trousers. Um, and the shirt is just a bit strange. I'm going to be honest. And this is what you kind of see from Russell Westbrook is not much matching stuff and his stuff is a bit strange that stuff he wears for example this i actually really like this outfit as well um not sure about the belt he's used like stringers belt i'd assume that's how they came with the distressed jeans i'm personally not a fan really of distressed clothing but i like the white t-shirt over the um tight fitting gray t-shirt i think it is with the hat as well this is a beautiful outfit and this is one that you'd love to see from russell westbrook again it is very nice obviously russ is quite a tall guy he's a basketball player so he's gonna always be a tall guy nice shoes as well and i like how the bottom of the jeans are white and contrast with the black as well kind of going with the white t-shirt as well and the black hat it's a very nice mixture from my experience when i've like styled jeans with anything especially blue jeans they always look really nice with a solid white top and like it is very nice mixture of colors there and it all does fit very nicely as an outfit this one i was really impressed with this one because there's nothing really wrong with it like i personally wouldn't wear it because i couldn't wear jeans that skinny me personally uh they are quite tight fitting that's just my opinion but on russ it does look really nice moving on to the next one uh it does look like russ has come in his dressing gown to be honest that's <laughs> that's just what it looks like from the start um it, the grey tracksuit underneath, very standard, but I just thought it was quite interesting how he came in a uh, like dressing gown sort of thing. I think it is a Fear of God coat or something. It's not great, and it does kind of look like a dressing gown. I'm not a massive fan of it. The white shoes with the white socks tucked into the grey tracksuit. This would be a very classy outfit if he wasn't wearing the dressing gown. I'm gonna be honest. And you'll see, and you see kind of what I mean. Of his outfits are kind of strange because. They are just a bit weird constantly. Like, he does strange stuff. This is one that I did like. Again, this is a very standard one. Um, he, I think he is sponsored by Jordan, if I'm correct. And that means he can wear Nike shoes as well and stuff like that. Uh, I really like the shoes. Go with the bag as well that he's holding. Um, the white and black jeans. Very nice. Like, white, orange. They're always going to go quite nicely together. So, I have no complaints from this outfit. It is very nice and this is one of Russ. This is when Russ is at his best when it's kind of more standard in my personal opinion. This is beautiful because this is different but this is like one of the most lovely outfits because he's matched it so incredibly well. Like obviously you can see the white stripe on the trousers going with the white jumper and then the red roses on the jumper going with the red trousers and then I think these are Gucci shoes as well. Can be 100% sure but the white and red on them is that's an amazing outfit and that's one of the best outfits which I've seen while doing these videos um that is beautiful like the matching on that very nice now i don't know if russ has a stylist i'm gonna be honest with you some of the outfits he chooses like this one i'm not sure he does because this is really weird like why would you wear it? i get it's a fashion statement and stuff like that but firstly i don't like jeans that are that like cropped um showing off that much leg 
because it just always looks a bit strange for me. And there's also no socks, which I can see there. He might be wearing ankle socks, but I can't really see. I'm really not a fan of that. It wouldn't be as bad as if he was maybe wearing like white socks under that, which go above the jeans. But I'm not sure why the jeans are not distressed and then the like long sleeve is. It is very, very strange. That is one of the worst outfits which I think I've seen. Uh, going along with this one, where the trousers are so cropped, they look like they were made like three sizes too small. Those trousers would be absolutely beautiful if they were just a bit longer, because it's incredibly, incredibly bad. Um, I'm really not a fan. Even the orange matches with some of the orange flowers on there as well. It is nice. And then you've got like the bubblegum pink jacket, which is a really, really nice jacket as well. It's really, it's just, why is his trousers so short? I don't understand. This again is very nice, very standard. A uh, graphic tee with some trousers and some Converse on as well. That is beautiful. Like this is when Russ is at his best, when it's just standard, because that's sort of something I would probably wear. It's very, it's very cool. Uh, it's very casual and that's the sort of stuff I like. Some of the stuff like this, this is horrendous. Uh, if you haven't seen yesterday's video, you'll, you wouldn't understand, but I went through 10, like, well, five things I hated about fashion, and this is one, because double denim is bad enough, but then you're matching it with the hat, and the shoes, and it's very bad. I absolutely hate it. It's one of the worst things I've seen, because, as well, I think the jeans look like a slightly different wash to the, like, jacket as well. I'm really, really not a fan of double denim and the whole outfit being denim. I really, really do not like it. When I saw that, I was in disbelief on how bad that outfit was because I was thinking, oh no, that is one of the, genuinely one of the worst things I think I've ever seen someone wear. So I don't know if I can rate Russ that high. Like, I really do like some of his outfits, and he really does try and go out there with some of his outfits. But then other times, it is like, it is, some of the stuff he wears is crazy. Like, distressed t-shirts, long sleeve tops, like, trousers that look way too short with no socks on. Me, personally, I am not a fan of that. I always don't like to show off my ankles and stuff like that. That's just my opinion. People do like rolling their trousers up nowadays. I'm personally not really a fan of it, unless I'm wearing, like longer boots like my doc martins i'll do it but that's just my opinion because i like showing my shoes off a bit if they're high tops and stuff like that but I, I don't personally understand bringing them up that high in my opinion that's just my opinion now this is where it gets tricky right because russ's outfits are a mixed bag they are some of them really good some of them very bad so i don't really know what to say i'm kind of just gonna go for a five because i I like how he tries. He really, really tries. But sometimes it looks amazing, and sometimes it looks some of the worst outfits I've seen anyone wear in a long time. It genuinely does look like something someone would wear on a runway. And that's not what I personally like, so maybe if someone else was grading this, then they might say, oh, the one that looks like a dressing gown, that might be really good to them. Uh, me personally, I'm not a fan of stuff like that. I don't really understand it, especially the denim stuff. Maybe it's cool how you match the whole thing, but that's like someone wearing a red tracksuit and matching it with completely red shoes and a red hat. I don't like it. It just looks weird to me. I don't, I don't really don't like it. So in my opinion, the list is still going LeBron James number one, Jason Tatum number two, and Russ a long way down in third. Uh, uh, he's not bad but he's really not good either. So if you have enjoyed this video, I, I try and make one of these videos once a week, sometimes more. I don't have a particular day I've released them on. So if you want to see more of this content, please like the video and subscribe to the channel. Genuinely means the world to me and any nice comment anyone wants to leave, I really do appreciate it as well. And thank you so much for watching.